Hi, everybody. I did not get my notification come up that said I was live. That was weird. Um, I was trying to add Facebook and it would not let me. Let me see if it'll let me now. All right. It let me now. Okay, so Lori will be here in a second, but I decided to go ahead and go live while we're waiting on Lori and open a package from Devon's auction the other day on Stills and Deals while we wait for Lori. How is everybody? I see Elizabeth and Sandra and Beth. How are you guys? So let's see what I got from, I don't even remember. Let's see what I got from Devin. I'm sure it's nice. From Devin on Moonstone Mamas. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Devin. Looks like a big uh, sausage roll. Exciting. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, the bracelet. I'm remembering it now as I open it. This is a... Um, alpaca bracelet and I have a brooch that will match this this is why I went ahead and got it beautiful alpaca bracelet hey Vanessa isn't that gorgeous you know I will be wearing that let me see if I can find the brooch right here next to me real quickly I keep my uh, my collection of brooches nearby and let me see if I can find it in the box. All the sterling silver ones next to me in a box. I have too many of the other ones. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? It's a really nice bracelet though, guys. It's worth I don't remember what I paid for it, but I don't I know it wasn't that much. But it will match this brooch if I can find the silly thing. I'll show you why I went ahead and bought it. Oh, here we go. Oh, and I have earrings, too. I forgot about that. I think I got the earrings from Row. So there are the earrings. So I bought those. Because I already had this. And this I think I got from um, oh, one of the few things I ever really received. But I think it needs some repair. I think it's missing part of the... Looks like it's supposed to be an older style. But I think it might just be broken. But I still love it. There's the brooch. So I got those faces a little different on these than these. These are pretty much exactly the same thing. Now, these are supposed to have earrings hanging on it. But this came from a Becca um, a while back. I think one of her, uh, her auctions with Dwayne. Uh, she's coming. Laurie's coming. I just got a message from her, but that's why I went ahead and got this, even though this is alpaca. I didn't care that it's alpaca. Doesn't matter. Still just as nice, but good match, though. Yeah, those look like exactly the same faces. Very close. Very, very close. The only difference I see is that is a wider V than those. Nice. So happy about the bracelet. Love the bracelet. I will let Devin know that I love the bracelet. Put those away. Uh, sorry, guys. Put that in the box. And then let's see what else I got. Any of you remember? Because I sure don't. I think I hear Lori coming in. All right. Let me let Lori in. I think I hear Lori Hi, Lori. In. Hi. Sorry. Let me Sorry. mute myself. Sorry. No problem. I was just showing them... Um, 
what I got from Devin while we were waiting on you. So I'll show them this and then we're ready for you. Okay. I wanted to say that green on it, um, Mexican um, bracelet. I, that's some of my favorite style. I love I'm, it. Isn't it nice? Yeah. I'm not so sure that it's alpaca though. It might be 800. That's um, true. It could be 800. Uh, because the 800 um, won't test. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it could be. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, I did. Know, uh, I'm looking at it. It does kind of actually look like sterling. And it says silver here. So, you may be right. It says silver Mexico. It could be 800. It's a lot of this older stuff is 800. If that's the case, I got a very, very good deal because she sold it as alpaca but most of this stuff is alpaca yeah because she tested it and it didn't test positive but with the 925 kit the 800 yeah. does not test positive so that's uh yeah you may be right I didn't even think about that okay and this is the other piece so I had one very similar to this and I sold it, I think, to Robert. And then I was sorry I sold it after that. So <laughs> and I do remember getting a really good price on this. So i um, happy about that. It's unmarked native Zuni piece. So that was my purchases from, looks, looks like I paid 40 for that. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's very yeah, nice. Yeah, that's not bad at all, yeah. Alrighty, so that one I'm going to keep. That one's going into my jewelry box. All right, let me switch over to Lori. Um, say hello, Lori. <laughs> Hi, Lori. No, <laughs> Everybody does that. I would be disappointed if they didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little punchy when I don't feel good. I I think I've had a cold, and I think I'm at the tail end of it. And um, I kind of wonder if I got it from this cat. <laughs> I don't know if you can catch viruses from, from animals, but they I'm probably sure would. you can. They can catch viruses from you. Oh, you will be joining Doug. Okay, awesome, Vanessa. Glad to hear that. Hi, Carla. So I did ask Roberta, and she, I think, is willing to sell that um the Jasper, the um, Bumblebee Jasper Carla. So get a hold of hers because I bought back three or four of them from Tucson for her. And I think she's willing to let one of them go. So um, give her a call. And I am glad to hear that you are joining him. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So at the end of the month on the 31st, I believe it is, we're going to have that Saturday, the 31st. We're going to have Doug um, and Vanessa are going to um, be coming on jewelry nurse for an auction. So nice. yay. Yay, yay, yay. So go ahead and tell everybody about yourself. I'm sure everybody here knows you, but go ahead and tell everybody what you do, and then you can just show whatever you want to show. Hi, guys. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, everyone. Doug, Elizabeth, Carla. Um, welcome, everyone. So I'm sorry I'm not feeling so great right now and I was late I just um I've had a cold and um, I had trapped this cat the feral cat and um, it was very sick but I got it some help and I'm nurturing it <laughs> he's now back with me in my bathroom <laughs> but um anyways I have a two two channels one is creative glory which was supposed to be just my decor and you know, being the life kind of video or channel, but I've turned it into a jewelry channel, and then I created a jewelry channel, jewelry, jewelry and gems, which I felt like I wasn't getting enough traffic, so I kept going back to my original channel. And so, if anyone would like to subscribe to either, <laughs> that would be great. I would like one day to go back to the jewelry and gems, just so that I could do jewelry on there because I do a lot of lives. And um, on my Creative Lori channel, I would like to just go back to, you know, day in the life, recipes, crafts, um, how to save money, um, you know, all of those things that I've, I was doing originally on that channel. 
But for now, I've been doing everything on Creative Lori. And that's my name, my email. Well, it has the two at the end. Um, it's all one word. And then it's at Gmail. So if you guys have any questions, I'd love for you to come visit me. And if you see anything you like, uh, can they purchase if they see it during a preview? And or do they have to wait? If, for you're, if you are willing to do that, um, you can. However, if you have more than one person interested in the same item, I would hold it for auction out of fairness. OK, um, but if only one person is interested in something, that's completely up to you. Um, and doesn't Lori look beautiful tonight, guys? I just wanted to oh say God. how beautiful you look. <laughs> Okay. And Thank you, guys. <laughs> I do have a link to her creative um, Lori channel in the description box. It'll be there when it posts. I'll get a link to her other channel and put that in also. But um, in case you're wondering why she is here tonight, she's doing a preview for an auction tomorrow night on Jewelry Nurse. It'll be six Central Standard. And Lori uh, and Cricket will be auctioning together. Um, Cricket from um, Sun and Moon Cricket will be with her tomorrow night. So they'll both be selling. Cricket's at work right now, so she's not able to come in for the preview. But, um, yep, that's why we're here tonight. Awesome. And thank you so much for having me. I can't thank you enough. I am I feel so blessed that, you know, I'm able to come on and be with you all. And um, I have been a little MIA lately just because I've had a lot that I was trying to take care of in my own house and um, everything. So, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm here and there, you know, <laughs> if I've neglected your channel, I'm sorry, <laughs> but well, I we just certainly understand that we, um, we all have stuff come up. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you know, you would think because of COVID, most people have more time. But I think what's happening is because of our time at home, we start to look at our house and think, oh, I need to fix that. I need to fix this. I have to finish that. And that's what I've been doing because I've had all the materials. And I thought there's no excuse for me not to do it. But at the same time, I do need to sell. And so I've tried to keep a good balance. But the last, like, I would say month. I haven't been good at that. <laughs> so <laughs> here I am. And I appreciate you all being here. So thank you. I have, um, so I don't have a whole lot of my dad. Um, I didn't pick up anything from my dad, who's a gemologist. Uh, as far as new jewelry, I have a few pieces. But a lot of it is more of vintage um, and unusual pieces. And of course, gemstones rocks you know gemstones because i love that and he did too or he does too and um i grew to love it as well so there's lots of you know silver vintage native american um what else uh and when i say native american i mean native american from the u.s and mexico so I had a lot of information on these um, brooches that I'm about to show you, but I think I'm going to start off with this first. Okay. Lori, so question. Um, this is a good time to pick Lori's brain too, because um, she does have a lot of knowledge. How do you determine between a Native American that's from Mexico and from the U.S.? Is there a way that you determine that? Um, mm -hmm. So, for instance, like the piece you just showed, the the green onyx. Some yes. people, you know, they're they're not sure of its origin, but it's it's from Mexico, definitely. Um, they do a lot of the sun god kind of, you know, carvings or mass carvings, yeah. jewelry, the vintage stuff, and then like Native American. Um, it has more of a, a southwestern feel to it. That's the best way to describe it, I guess. But um, if it doesn't, if it's not stamped, that's one way you can always tell. You can look up the initials on Native American website, and that's very helpful. Um, there are books which we have, and that will help you as well. But 
I I always say that um, like New Mexico, Arizona, and Mexico, and and California. Sorry, um, guys, adding um. I row. Adding row to the stream. Let's get back. Hey, everybody. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Ro you look beautiful, you, Lori. Oh, thank you. I don't feel so great. <laughs> thank you. Um, well, you look so, gorgeous. Um, Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have to kind of look at the stones. So um, there's some confusion with like in Native American in Mexico, um, a lot of people mistake the, the onyx for jade and it's not jade because it's not indigenous to that area. So it's always onyx. It can be white, it can be yellow, it can be green, um, it can be pinks, beiges. Wow. I mean, it comes in an array of colors. Um, For me, jade has a different feel from the black onyx. And the same, too, can be said for jet and onyx, too. And you can kind of look at the back of it. If you can see the back of it on um, onyx and jet, you can kind of see the difference between onyx and jet plus Jet is lighter and it doesn't weigh as much. It's a really light actually. And it has almost of a wood grain look on the back of it. Sort of like yeah. burnt charcoal. Yeah. Like burnt wood. That's yeah. To bring up is not every stone is created equal. There are different density levels. You know, like you can pick up a piece of coral, uh, not coral, it's a bad example. Uh, onyx versus turquoise and they're going to weigh different. And the, um, each piece will be different. So a lot of times um, people weigh things like, for instance, like the way this, it's all silver and then the coral, but you really, there's a special way to weigh things. You cannot get the correct uh, silver content, the, the, the weight of it, if it has a stone. There's exactly. A, there's a mathematic like um, determination uh, that gemologists do to subtract the stone and to wait to give you the silver gram. So I, I hate to almost weigh something when it has a stone or a shell in it because it's off completely. Yeah, yeah. you would almost have to know the density of the stone and take the size of the stone and the density and determine the weight and then subtract that from the silver. So yeah, that could be complicated. Yeah, but if it's just purely a silver piece, then you could weigh it. Like for this, I might say, okay, well, this is a silver chain. Um, I'm going to weigh this, but for even though this is like a lot of silver, I I have to take into account the coral there. So I don't know. I mean, I haven't had my dad do that for this piece. So, I mean, it's really very difficult and it's, it's almost misleading because if you weigh anything, stones weigh a lot. You know, I don't care if it's coral or if it's onyx or if it's turquoise. It, it throws off the gram. But anyways, back to the Native American, Mexico and um, American. You know, we were all once. It was once Mexico, California, New Mexico, Arizona. So, you know, it's hard to distinguish that line. But most of the time, like your bracelet, it's very indicative of Mexico. Whereas um, maybe, uh, oh, here's a piece. This is Native American from here, from the US. Um, and they, they tend to pick, once the borders were defined from Mexico to the US, there was a distinct style. No, stop being bad. Um, the the Indians had a distinct style per I mean they crossed over all the time. I mean even if you watched old westerns you would see that. Oh I'm going to Mexico to get out of here, you know. <laughs> but Yes, it, and Mexico Sterling definitely like the Native American has definitely has his own style. I'm at the point where I can almost look at it and know that it's from Mexico. And I'm getting pretty accurate and just like, especially after you pick it up and feel it, then you know before you even look at it that it's going to be Mexico sterling. 
Yeah. It's all, and it's all those marks too, which is good. I always say don't discount the, the Mexican silver because even though back in the day they would use like 800, 850, 900, um, their, their silver is quite honestly superior to most of the world. That oh, absolutely. Along, with, along with Italy, along with um, Israel has really wonderful silver. And, and Thailand, Thailand has pretty good silver Thailand, too. Yep. Yeah. And yep, so, I mean, they have really, I mean, my, my grandparents moved from France to Mexico for the resources of gold, silver, spices, and just how it was just like a, you know how like we had a gold rush here in Cal in California and in certain parts of the U.S.? Well, there was like a huge migration to Mexico also for their resources. So it's a similar idea, if you know what I mean. But, yes. Um, yes, I actually look for silver from those countries when I'm looking. I look for it, and if I find it from any of those countries, I buy it. Yeah. Um, anyway, so it's just a, a matter of, like, Mexico does more sun gods and tribal masks. Um, because remember, I, I don't mean just Mexico, I mean South America. So it can be, like, tribal masks from Ecuador, Nicaragua, and they're all a little bit similar versus the Native American here has a different distinct style. It might be like more of, they might do a style of a buffalo or a thunderbird, whereas Mexico does eagles. So there's, you know, and actually both Mexico and or South America and North America and um, Indians do uh, coyotes, that sort of thing. They'll do like moons or suns, but but South America is very indicative of doing the, like the sun gods and the pyramids and um, the masks that they would wear, and where the Native Americans have like headdresses for ceremonies. So you'll see that a little bit differently. But um, for instance, I have a piece I'll show tonight, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is, but hopefully people in the um, chat can guess what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to start off. Y'all better be listening. There's going to be a test at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there will be. <laughs> so I wasn't going to sell this because I found it so <laughs> amazing that it, it's um, a set. And I bought them at different times, but it's a ring and earring set. And I need to find my little magnet, which I misplaced. Okay. Anyway, um, but it's actually carved out of bone, and the earring and the matching um, ring. And so they're made out of bone. I never thought I would find a set. I just saved them because I thought they were cool, beautiful. Right. Yeah, and I think is it adjustable? It is. Now adjustable. I had those earrings before, but I've never had the ring. I've never found the ring to go with it. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I just nice. love love these earrings. There's a lot of detail. They're thick. They're, they match. I and like I said, I bought them at a separate time, and they match even from the center to the outer petals. And they're bone. I love um, when I, I find that stuff like that. I know, I do too. It's like, oh, do I do I sell it? You know, and then sometimes you sell something and you regret it. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Just the ring and the earring. I together. often regret it after I sell it, but I can't keep it all. I know, and I can't either. And truly no, we're regret it to make money we're here to sell it's our job it's our our side business or or business so yeah, i have to take time to remember it you know i have to keep reminding myself i bought it to sell i bought it to sell <laughs> yeah now there are some... it's not my collection it's inventory <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. So if you haven't, if anyone hasn't um, applied to. Uh, Hi, to, G. It's Sandra. too late, I believe. But hopefully everyone already sent in their app or uh, the request to vote. Okay. And I, I have an interesting way of voting, but. <laughs> So these are, I hope, I'm going to turn on the side light here in a second, but um, these are hand carved. Those are pretty. Uh, they're like laser cut, actually. They're not hand carved. They're laser cut, and they're probably, um, what is that material called? Um, oh, gosh, I can't think of it. It looks like bone. It's not, but it's... Um, it's some kind of a resin. I know exactly what you're talking about. I have a couple of pieces made out of that, and it does look like bone. You know those bracelets um, that are, oh, what's the word? Okay, well, this is it. <laughs> Sounds like two syllables. <laughs> <laughs> and they are clipped. I'm going to let these go because I've had them. And I think they're absolutely, they're stunning. I don't know why I hold on to things sometimes, but if I don't wear it. You know, some, I might actually have the brooch that matches mm -hmm. that somewhere. Really? Yeah, I'm going to have nice. to look through my stuff and see if it's the same pattern. Celluloid. Yeah, so, can't you picture a high, a high, a high, uh, celluloid. high. Celluloid. Celluloid, yeah. High it might neckline. Be Light. Yeah, one of the two. And I'm, I'm really bad at with those people. earrings on. What? I mean, I'm going to put them on. These Can't you picture a lacy easy. neckline, you know, like a shirt with the high collar? Yeah, look how with those pretty on. They do look nice on, yes. Mm -hmm. And if those are, um, do you have the stuff to test for Bakelite? Because no. they look the right color for Bakelite. Well, you nice. can do it with 409, too. Do you have 409 kitchen cleaner? No. But isn't there like a, a, a test where you rub it and if you smell, smell like a... Formaldehyde? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think they're beautiful. I, I know. Yeah. Work, right. yeah. I think the 80s were awesome. And the 50s and 60s, but... Um, 70s, I wasn't a fan of. <laughs> so I have those. So they might Me too, be but I don't want to go back. <laughs> I don't either. No, I don't either. <laughs> I'm done with those years. I don't like going back. Um, this is actually horn. Buddy, stop it. And it's, well, that's it's cool. a vintage bracelet. So I have a couple of horn bracelets. I love vintage jewelry. And this one, I can't remember if I, I don't think I've tested the. I had uh, a couple of those I found in Florida, but they were really dark um, horn. They look like I couldn't tell at the time whether they were horn or um, ebony, but the same exact um, clasp on it, the same trumpet clasp and design there. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Very old Absolutely. guys, more of an antique that than cool. a um, vintage. That's an antique. It's beautiful, and I actually wow. would keep, but it doesn't fit me because I, um, I have a, I love bracelets, as you know, but they don't always fit me, and this is like way too snug on me. It's like, you know, it's it's this way up here, but I'd like it maybe down here. And anyways, I'm gonna test it tomorrow. I didn't test it. I don't know if you guys can tell from my fingertips. I actually spilled a bottle of my um, acid on my fingers. I was oh. trying to, yeah, and and they no look tea, better. No tea. Oh, they were, gosh, you can't see, but they're like chewed up. And I thought, oh no! <laughs> yeah, it eventually turns bright yellow and peels off on me. <laughs> I do it yeah, all the time. I was um, peeling it off, and I'm like, "Ow, that's my skin!" So, um, my under the under like the fresh skin. Anyway, so I have that horn bracelet, 
Then I have this That's one, and so you guys pretty. can look at that. It's by, um, this is a vintage piece by Pono. And you can tell, see how it's kind of like oh uh, small at the top and then bigger at the end. Oh, nice, and yeah. So that's a clear indication of horn, but you can also see the striations in it on the surface and on the inside. Now this one, I have thought about keeping. Now this oh, one- Wow, I would keep that. I would not let that go. That's okay, gorgeous. No. It's beautiful. Very pretty. <laughs> and I, uh, it's beautiful. And the etching I'd be scared of the to wear it. Why? Why? I'd be scared to break it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'd be scared to chip it, break it. You'd have to it's, take a hammer to it. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't. Horn is very sturdy. Uh, board, or bone is actually more brittle than horn, if you can believe that. But you could see that it says P O N O. That's gorgeous. Oh, no. Yeah, think about uh, what animals do with those horns. <laughs> Yeah. They fight with them. <laughs> right. And then sometimes, like, poor little deers get locked. Oh, poor little thing. Anyway, so I have this mm -hmm. one. It's beautiful shape with the birds. It looks like... Um, it is beautiful. Wow. That's stunning. Like, uh, it's two different types of birds. Like, there's supposed to be ones that are far away, so maybe the same bird. Humming, not humming. Um, well, now some have larger beaks, a longer beak, so than some of the others. So maybe there's mm -hmm. two different of birds. Anyway, it's beautiful, and I just love horn. I think it's a gorgeous thing to use, especially if you know if you're gonna kill the animal and use all the parts. That's a that's a great way. So these two are horns. I think they're beautiful. Wow. And I have a little bit of bone that I showed you. Then I have, what are you guys saying over there? Oh. <laughs> I know, Gianna. I mean, gosh, did that hurt? It didn't hurt initially, but when it got down to my skin, I was like, entered the fresh skin, I was like, oh, it burnt. It felt like jalapeno juice on all your fingertips and just burning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I start to itch a little bit too. Yeah, it does. And it, it gets dry and you just want to peel it. So all of my fingers just look terrible. I mean, I have, look at it. It just got all over me. All right, here's the test. So I want to know if you guys think this is, uh, Native American from the U.S. or North America. And Diana, you don't get to play. Oh, yeah, Lily's nope. birthday. Okay, happy birthday, Lily and um, Kelly. No. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday. So this is a pendant and a brooch. Now, both Native American and or of South America and North America do brooch and pendant. That looks <laughs> major to me. Close your so eyes. So now, think about this, you guys. Okay, Met, um, butterflies fly from South America up to North America. Okay, then it could be Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Still pretty. But I also think about the inlay. I don't see the inlay as much in Mexico sterling as I do the native. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. I take all of these things into consideration. Um, butterflies are big in both in both, mainly Mexico, right? But the inlay is a little bit different when it comes to Native American in North America. And um, this one has, oh, sorry, you guys. Can you guys hear me? Because I think um, I had a call coming in and I forgot to 
Yeah, we can hear you. Do not disturb. We hear you. Okay. I can't hear you guys. <laughs> so let me let me back out. You guys can think about this for a second, but I need to leave and put do not disturb on my phone and I'll come right back. Right back. All right. right back. All right. Because I can't hear you guys. Yes, I banned Gianna from answering because I know she will know. So <laughs> she doesn't get to answer that one. So you got anything beautiful new that you want to show them, Roberta, while we wait for um, her, Lori to come back? I have something comical. All right, let's see it. I have something it. really comical. that I, <laughs> Let's see this it. This was in a jewelry jar, and I gave it to Samantha, right? It's just, you know, it's just costume jewelry, and it's heavy. She came in today and goes, Memo, I don't think you knew that was in there. <laughs> oh, God, no. Or what? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, maybe you need to wear that. I said, okay. I'll no, be taking that. Go back. out by yourself. <laughs> Just a little teeny. Is that so cute? That when it's I have actually to go cute. into Portsmouth and work, I could use that. <laughs> <laughs> back, get down. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I thought that was comical. Too funny. That is How funny. That was my comical thing of the, of the day. And I found this. I don't know what it is, but this is sterling. It says sterling across the pen. I don't know. We were talking about bone, and I don't see any marks on it. Um, when you but look at know. it, Look at the back with the loop. If you see a sort of wavy pattern, it's ivory. If you see like pitting, like in a like in a in a steak bone, I guess, um, then it's probably bone. I guess pitting could be there. If it's yeah, ivory I has sort of a pitting. wavy pattern, like a very faint wavy pattern. All right, Miss Lori, are you ready? Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to put my phone on. Do not That's disturb. all right. Okay, so what I do that everyone... right away. Maybe Jan. What did you... Okay, back to what the did test. Think about this? Yeah, yeah, it's a test. North American or South American, Native American? What okay, you put guys... your answers in, ladies. Whoever wins. Whoever the first one to get the correct answer in will get a giveaway from me. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes, <laughs> you can't play, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jade has South, Elizabeth has South, Sherry has North American. So just for um, fun, everybody put your answers in. So it's either going to be Jade or Sherry? I say it goes in my jewelry box. It's from my jewelry yes. box. Is that a good answer? <laughs> from your jewelry box? Yeah, Gianna probably knows. <laughs> I told her she couldn't play because I knew she would know. <laughs> she would give it away. <laughs> Let's see what I'm going to give away here. Let me look in my little bag and find something. <laughs> A bag of tricks. My little bag of tricks. Yes, indeedy. And and you don't have to, Cindy. I can um, have my. I friend got it. Me. I got it. I buy stuff just for that. Okay, I got it right here. And the winner is. Shall I say? Everyone done guessing? <laughs> okay. So, even though butterflies are indicative of South America going up to North America, and there's a huge migration, um, this one is North American. It's actually Zuni. I thought so, the inlay. Yeah. It's, you know, Zuni does a very uh, distinctive inlay. Now, South American, like alpaca, uh, even Pasco, they do inlay, but it's usually of different things. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. differently. 
Um, yeah, and you're right. The Zuni inlay, I'm starting to be able to distinguish between Navajo and Zuni now. It's like smaller pieces, a lot of silver, you know, um, I don't know. It, it's sort of hard to explain it, but like your Thunderbird that you got, um, Cindy, it yes. kind of matches the style, right? Yeah, it and does. It's just yeah. And I think the... Uh, um, the type of turquoise and the stones in it too are also kind of a giveaway because that has abalone in it too, right? So that was, and they also use the abalone in Mexico. So that was like, okay, which one is it from? Well, this one is all mother of pearl, uh, turquoise and coral, which. Okay, I thought it had the abalone in the bottom, the kind of gray. It's all. Uh, okay, all I see that. now. Pearl. Yeah. Even the middle one is Mother Pro, but, oops, um, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so that means Sherry. Sherry is correct. Let me show you what you won, Sherry. You won this little sterling silver pendant, and... It is on a vintage sterling chain marked sterling on the clasps there. So that's what you won. So it will Yay. go up. Congratulations. Sherry. All right. Isn't South America? What do you mean, Elizabeth? Okay. Uh, what else do okay so now i have um this is a set and so, um, one it says toward the body is tortoise shell and yeah i don't think you see that much tortoise shell in the um so there was a few clues in that one i guess i don't think i've found too many mexico pieces with tortoise shell and i tried to trick you guys by the whole um, butterfly thing, migration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> so this one is made in Mexico, 95. It's made by Nesto. So Nesto did do some Tasco work. You know how they would contract, you know, with different... Uh, you know, like Tiffany might ask um, maybe Versace. It's the same idea that Tasco did. Um, and this is a Nesto piece. They're earrings and a pendant. Hi, Jerry. Oh, oh bummer, Geraldine. Oh, beautiful. I like it. It's almost like a little part of a shell, like a conch shell or something. Yeah. And you that. Got matching earrings, awesomeness. And um, mm -hmm. it does say Mexico Nesto uh, 925. Oh. It's always awesome when you find the pendant and the earrings together because a lot of their pieces our match sets same with a lot of the south the southwest and the native stuff just you're lucky to find the the matching pieces is nice yeah and um I, the only thing is I, i'm sorry but a lot of times the backs get lost you know through the years so i don't have the backs sterling silver backs to them so just so you guys know um and if you look up nesto he was a big designer um so there's that i think elizabeth north america isn't north america just canada and the u.s is mexico yes. considered central or south right uh mexico is considered south america yes okay i'll okay. have to tell her to tune in vanessa to see this one is verna in Hi, Geraldine, or Geraldine. Ger oh, oh, you know nice. what? I, I used uh, to say her Geraldine all the time. I'm sorry. 
the butterfly, Vanessa? Yeah, you'll have to let her know the matching ring will be coming up. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Or pendant, I mean. All right. So let's see. I think. Um, did I what did I show over here? Oh, all right. Let's. I'm going to show some. Oh, um, enjoys. <laughs> I do like almond joy. That's my Gianna. favorite, Gianna. My stomach oh, my doesn't care about world. coconut anymore, but I do like the almond joys. I like almond joy Kit Kat, the dark chocolate Kit Kat, and Reese's pumpkin. <laughs> but Ew. I recently, huh? I'd rather have the butterfinger. I don't like the um, pumpkin. Butter, Butterfingers, peanut butter cup. Those are good. Mm -hmm. the Although I have a pumpkin candle lit in here. It's, it smells delicious. Mm. Um, so this is 925. And this is a big chunk of coral. Um, I was just trying to look at it again and find out if it had the... Uh, no, it's Native American though. I it's saw one not. very similar to that recently, except really? it was more, My yeah, it was more of a rectangle than a square. But yeah, big old chunk of red coral. Isn't that beautiful? Didn't you just have a brooch that looked like that? That's gorgeous. No, it was a I ring. The size of the band. Okay. I think Brenda might have bought that. It's still raining. Brenda or Verna one. Hi, Donna. How are you? Hey, Robert. How are you, darling? Hi, Donna. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. And so since we're on the um, coral kick, I'm going to show you what I showed earlier. I just kind of flashed it. Where did I put it, though? Um, hmm. All right, Elizabeth, did you find something that proves us wrong? Were we wrong, Elizabeth? At one point, well, Mexico was bleeding. Well, it, we took Mexico, we took California away from Mexico. And, um, but... I can't find the coral necklace they just had. Oh, oh, here it is, right here in front of me. So this is a, I don't know what this type of um, necklace is. It's like a, it's not a leaf. You know, you can't like bend it. It's one of those like uh, round puff type links. Beautiful piece. And then it has a, Big fail oh, on see it. it. Yeah, nice omega. Omega, is that what it's called? The, this yeah, here? Yeah, those thick, stiff chains, yeah, omegas. And then you have the big coral pendant, all silver. And it's marked um, 925 and Mexico, I believe, on the back. That's a really nice piece because those Omegas sell between sixty and a hundred dollars, depending on the width of them. So nice. And then the big pendant alone. Beautiful pieces, Lori. Absolutely. All of this will be available for sale tomorrow night, guys. Oh, okay. gotcha, gotcha, Vanessa. Then I like it when it has the tortoise shell in it. I look for the tortoise shell stuff. I love the tortoise shell inlay. Let's see. Thank you, Dirty. Um, we're in the salted penis and the candy dish come together. It tastes just like a payday. Oh, I like paydays. Those are good. Paydays are definitely good. Okay. Oh, that does sound interesting, Vanessa. Candy corn and salted peanuts mixed together. Mm. I was going to take my pretzels that are a little bit on the, um, they're kind of stale, 
and I saw this lady put like candy corn. I, I won't buy candy corn anymore, but um, you can put like marshmallows and nuts and you know um, salty items like Chex Mix if you wanted to. And she put like a frosting on them. She made like an icing and then tossed them. And I thought, oh my God, that looks so good. I won't eat it, but I can make it for my nephew for Halloween since, you know, none of the kids are going. It's been discouraged here in California not to go um, trick or treating, which I yeah, think I is bad. I don't think there's going to be many trick or treaters this year at all. The candy no. industry is going to be no. suffering because they all sell more candy at Halloween time than probably most of the rest of the year. So, yeah. We do trick or treat uh, here. Yeah, buying candy for Halloween is very expensive these days because those big old bags of candy like at Walmart are like 17 bucks. Yeah. I, last year I um, gave can or what I gave out was pretzels and cheese puffs from Utz, U-T-Z, and they yeah. were in like a little lunch bag uh, you know, you can put them in your lunch, and yeah. I spent only twenty dollars, and I did. Uh, I can't remember a hundred or two hundred kids. I, no, a hundred, hundred and twenty or something, and I ran out. Wow. Hey Joyce, wow. how are you and Donna? So we have Mother Pearl um, in the white. And then we have pink at the bottom, and then some abalone. Oh, and interesting. It's all inlaid. That is pretty. What a cool Mark. combination. You don't see those together too often. Yeah. And then Mark mm. is that. And it's a K around. for Carla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the marcasites for Rogue. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. Um, it is marked 925, but there's no, like, uh, you know, there's no um, designer marking or hallmark of any sort that I could find. I did sell one that was very vintage, and it had all these, like, indigenous, like, hydroglyphics on it. And I sold it too cheap, and I regret it. <laughs> How often do we do that? <laughs> I can go. But you know the person But you who made somebody it, happy, Lori. You made somebody happy. Yes, yeah. indeed. Well this person's a reseller, but you know what? This person has been very kind to me and very helpful and yes, so I don't it is nice myself. too, yeah, when it goes to a reseller who really needs the sales. Yeah, that's nice too. Yeah. I don't mind. It was okay. Um okay. So I have a lot of like uh, Native American Earrings, meaning Mexico, South American, and the U.S. Canadian, I don't come across Canadian Native American very much, which is North American. But I, I just think that it stays there. I, I don't know. I, I just don't come across it. Would I know it if I came across it? I may not, you know. But um, anyways, this one is a pair of earrings. They are 925 Mark FAS. And they have um, little, like, they're like garnet quartzite at each end. I don't, I can't remember the name of the style of uh, earring. I just think of, like, I Dream a Genie whenever I see the style or Marrakesh. I, I'm going to show you what I think. Oh, wrong way. So it's almost like a little pumpkin type style. You know what? I have a pair of clip ones just like that, but they're not in sterling. But that's that's style. one. That style, it's and one they big have Capri like Sun, little, uh, Gianna. little mother of pearl dots on each end. But yeah, those are cute. That's adorable. They, they kind of remind you of a pumpkin. A little bit, yeah, huh? Or like a little um, Hanukkah um, dreidel almost. So that's the back. How do they sit in your ears? Oh, you can you have them either way. You can have them long way or up and down. You no, I just wanted to see which way they go, but they would probably you could put them in either way. 
Yeah. Long ways? Up in, or vertically? Well, I don't know. What, what do you guys mm -hmm. say? Probably I guess up and down, but you could wear them either way. Stay that way. You'd probably oh. have to have some pretty wide Those ear lobes to wear them the other way. I guess you could wear it either way, really. I have it twisted. Oop. Hold on. Um, Vanessa was asking if something was Zuni. She might have been talking about the last piece. Oh, okay. Yes. The butterfly. All right. So those do have the back. And they're nice little... They kind of look up. I, mean, <laughs> I was looking fun. online and I found. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> I was looking online for backs, for 925 backs. Free son. That's too funny, Lily. <laughs> oh, it's Lily's birthday. The only ones I found were so high, you'd have to add. So Does that have onyx at both ends? Price of your earrings, so I didn't purchase Does that have them. Black stones in both ends. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Very pretty. Horrible. Okay, then beautiful. Thank you. So I have a lot of vintage stuff, and I didn't prepare for the new stuff. But here's, um, I'm going to sell this as a set because I thought they were beautiful together. So they're both brass. And this is inlaid. So it's brass on the inside, this big one. It's vintage. It has the heart. Uh, that's like the little, I guess, hallmark. And it has inlaid copper and brass. It's an elephant. Nice. I like that. Sort of reminds me a little bit of the Siam stuff. The yeah. Nail. So the it's funny because the actual elephant is copper, but the detail on the rug across his back is in brass and copper, and his ears and eye are in brass. I mean, it's like wonderful detail. Wonderful. Kind of like uh, Domicine in a way, yeah. Like what? Domicine. Oh, okay. See, Siam kind of freaks me out a little bit too. Kind of like Vicky, how she feels about it. I feel the same way. I don't like Siam jewelry. And it's so sought after. I just like, if I get it, I get rid of it. Um. Uh, yeah, I think it makes some people nervous because of the... Um, the the uh, uh what is it I'm trying to say it's got a oh mercury content in it but it's very minimal and they um, recommend you wash your hands but I don't know I just um I, it's not the even part that. that has the mercury in it is the inlaid part like the gray part that's on the front and that's not generally touching your skin but um, it's such a minimal amount. Well, that's good to know for sure. So I know my, my lighting is off, but the elephants are copper and then the little rug and his ears and his eye are all done in like accents of brass. And the little branches are done in brass. And they have beautiful etching on all the detail of the everything, the the elephants, the branches, the flowers, everything. It's just kind of hard to see because it's not natural light. But And then I'm going to pair it with this brass. Oh, the ring, Vanessa. Thank you. Um, bracelet. I love bracelets. That's my favorite thing are bracelets. <laughs> bracelets, bracelets, bracelets. Okay, you're back in the room. going to be a really nice auction um crickets it's pouring here gals nice sterling pieces for tomorrow night too uh -huh. and she'll have some costume and some lots so it'll be um a little bit of everything there'll be something for every buyer tomorrow night yeah i'm trying to do like native american vintage brooches um 
new gemstones, you know, yeah, everything. Yeah, there'll be a good variety between the two of you of things to bid on. I'm having so, a rainstorm here, so I'm in and out again. Oh, how gorgeous. Close your eyes if you're in, Erin. <laughs> so that this is, is Alex uh, Cavanet, and it's an owl brooch. It's gold plated over sterling with marcasite and glass eyes. And most of them come in, um, most of them are like in, in gold. Hello. Good night, Geraldine. We'll see you tomorrow night. Goodbye. Geraldine, before you go, have you gotten your packages? I don't know if you're getting them or not. I hope you're getting them. I hope they're not holding them somewhere since COVID started. The back is really in nice um, condition. So this one's a little bit more rare because uh, most of them are just in gold, but this is gold and silver look or silver. I love that one. I absolutely love it. It's got Beautiful. the Marcus and the wing and the glass eyes and Beautiful. Hallmark. Thank you. So there's that one. That is cute. And I think that's from the 1940s. Yeah, 1940s. So that's old. Wow. Older, I should say. Nice piece to so add to your collection. Uh, we're yes. talking 80 years now old, so. <laughs> Alice Cavanagh. Cavanagh. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? I have this brooch. Okay. Good, Sandra. I'm glad you like it. I lost the paperwork that I have on this, but... Um, it is, I oh, can't read it. I had everything written on it, but it was going for like $90 on eBay. And it was someone who was commissioning with someone, and I can't think of who it is. Hold on. Really interesting piece. Cool design. Can you all hear oh, the yeah. rain on my air conditioner in here? Whew. It's uh, Safari and... Kuni Matsumoto, I believe her name is, commissioned with Trafari to make this piece. Pretty. So there's that one. That's and lovely. One that's from Russia. And I lost the paperwork on this one, too. I don't know what's going on. Trafari's had a lot of interesting designers work for them. They have. They designers. really have for them, yeah. Some pretty big name people have designed for Trafari. Mm -hmm. This one, um, this is a Russian piece and it's silver around the edges. Oh my God, I don't think I have any Russian brooches with the silver. Mine are all the lacquered um, wood. Uh-oh. So is this, uh -oh. is this Lacquered wood because it doesn't feel like resin. It it feels it, lighter. It's probably if it's if it's hand painted Russian, it probably is the lacquered wood. Okay, I was. It I kind of feels sort of lightweight. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, it's the lacquered wood. Then it's kind of yeah. I love them. That balsa wood. I've got a That's huge cool. collection of them. Gorgeous. <laughs> One day. You're going to have to come on wearing like one of those collars, like a, a collar with, <laughs> with all, yeah. the, you know, specific brooches, mm -hmm. like all Russian, all Monet, all. <laughs> I did cover the back of my jean jacket when I was on vacation with silver brooches. Oh, you did? Yes. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, so there's that one. I'll put it in here. Are you going to fight me for the Russian brooches? Oh, I'm going to have to get the gloves out, Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's those. And I have more rush or uh, more brooches. Nice, than, uh, Jerry. Okay, this one was never paid for. It was bought. But um, it is banded agate. 
And it's got greens and cream and like a peach color and beige. It's beautiful. And Hi, Patty. Uh, I don't think it had it was ever hallmarked. If I yeah no it's not hallmarked. Anyway, oh, I, I think, think Vicky was here. That has sort of a Vicky'd be able to tell you what kind of banded agate that is. We were talking about this very agate the other day, and I cannot remember the name of it. Really? Yeah. I like the greens in it. That's my favorite part. Yeah. The yeah, the, yeah. I love the soft colors like Almost that. Almost a very faint teal green. Yeah, she was just talking about this agate the other day with those colors in it. And I have so about... 12 minutes before I have to be live on Sandy. So um, we'll just keep showing until then. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to go quickly. You're fine. Keep going. Um, I have some Venetian glass, I believe. I am it interested, Patty. So I've seen the rings, I've seen the pendants, but I've never seen a bracelet. Have you guys? Yes, actually, I have had oh, those nice. bracelets, and they are far more durable than you think. And I almost bought one the other day, almost exactly like that, but it was uh, gold colors. And I wish I had got it. I almost got it for... Um, Oh, I'm sending glass rings to Talbot's mom, and I almost got it for her because she can't wear metal jewelry. Oh. And, yeah, and I was trying to hurry up and get home, and I couldn't get the lady's attention to get it out of the case, so I said forget it, but if it's still there, I'm going to get it. So Hi, it's, Faith Robin. Um, in um, Italy, this stuff is expensive, I'm telling you right now. I had to buy a, a ring here in the U.S. and tell people I got it from Italy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said the same thing, and especially if that stuff is marked Murano, it is really expensive. Um, it's not, um, but it's the it white on the Murano side. style, kind of though. So, yeah, Sweet Pea said the same thing about where she lives in the U.K. That all of that dichroic glass and glass jewelry is very expensive there. Well, I love it. I have two rings that I got, yeah. and I love it. Yeah, and it is surprisingly durable, isn't it, Sherry? You think it would break real easy, but it doesn't. You gotta, yeah, gotta I get it just right. Ring. And I can actually put it on my wrist without it breaking. Yes, yeah. it was a banded agate faith, but it's got a particular name, and Vicky knows the name of that, and I totally can't remember it. So oh, that's pretty. Looking gold, but it's actually more of a green. Um, oh, that's a pretty one. Okay, that's more of the color. It's more of like the lime green. Mm -hmm. nice. and yeah, it's really pretty. I love the back, how it has that leaf um, for the bale. Really beautiful. I thought it went nicely. I know, you, it, yeah. The colors keep changing. Hold on. Let me take this off and I'm going to put it side by side. They're very similar in color, but with my, um, hold on. Okay. So you see that. They work together. Yes. Nice. They, yeah, it's definitely, this is lighter than this one, but they do go nicely together. They complement each other nicely. Yeah, and then I have two um, glass rings. I have so much, you guys. I mean, it's impossible for me to show you all everything. I have natural stones behind me. I mean, it's just too much. <laughs> I love this one. This is a, a deep aqua color, and it's like a marquee cut on the top. Pretty. Green. Gorgeous. Then I have a purple one, but it's a different design. Um, this one's more of the typical, like, swirl. Let's see, I'll put it here. So, oh, that'd be nice, Faith. Robin? 
to bead around. She said she bought a bunch of dicarlic glass pieces to bead weave around. Very nice. Ooh, how pretty. Nice. Okay. So then I have a bunch of rings and to save time, I'm just going to show you all at once. Um, I have some, a ruby zoocyte bracelet with silver and other stones. Um, I have a silver and amber ring. I have, um, actually Cindy had a very similar bracelet to this the other day, I think on Sunday. Um, these are sapphires and diamonds, and I believe, I have not tested it, but I think I tested it a while back, and I just haven't retested it in a while, and I don't remember because I never showed it. But I think it's um, gold-plated or um, vermeil. Vermeil? Vermeil. Spelt vermeil, but pronounced vermeil, so it's confusing. Okay. <laughs> and, um, but the, all of, they're beautiful, the sapphires. And it has that butterfly clasp, just like yours did. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, it is very similar to the one that I have. All these rings. I have Native American, uh, this huge citrine ring in silver. Ooh, nice. It's mm -hmm. huge. <laughs> really nice marquee. Um, I have... Just a Peruvian opal, that pink one there. Then there's some malachite oop, over here. Mexican quartzite. Uh, I have Mexican opals up here, fire opals. There's two of those, different colors. Um, gosh, I mean, there's one, there's one, two, three that are brand new, and that's these three at the top those three and then everything else is like vintage all right so, should be a really nice auction everybody indeed yes i wish we could go longer and look at each one of those pieces individually but i have to be on just sandy in about four minutes so um <laughs> let me bring everybody back up well you're not going to see my picture anyway because i'm still in my jammies so i guess i'm going on sandy with no picture tonight too <laughs> it was a lazy day i never got out of my jammies i had the day off and i did some invoicing and i stayed in my jammies all day oops that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> so um thank you guys for coming and i oh i think gianna said that um pen Roberta is kind of an Asian style and it does sort of look like an yeah. Asian mm -hmm. style. So more than likely it is ivory. So get your yeah, loop. And, it's beautiful. Yeah, because it's not, everybody thinks it's illegal to sell ivory and it isn't necessarily, there are rules, strict rules about it, but it's not completely illegal to sell ivory. Um, anyways, I thank you guys for coming. We will be on tomorrow night at seven eastern six central standard and cricket will be joining us hi doug and cricket will be bringing um some nice stuff too hi, she's got some sterling silver and cricket always has some really nice costume pieces too she always has some great yeah. stuff so it should be a really good auction and i hope to see you all then and Lori. Thank you, Lori information will be in the description box below the video i have her creative Lori channel in there and I'll get her other channel listed as soon as I am done with Sandy's auction. And I did get everybody invoiced your stuff. They'll will ship out tomorrow. So um, thank you all. And then don't forget Sunday night um, auction with Roberta and I. So say good night girls. Bye good guys. Night, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Good night, Thank guys. You, Cindy. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Thank All you right. for coming. Love yous. And join us over on Sandy's for an auction. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>